Welcome at, back, everybody, to Dyson Sphere Program and our Dark Fog series here on YouTube. We are heading to the Shahula system because there is a sulfuric acid lake that we want, or sulfuric acid that we want to take uh, advantage of. I think it was there. Was it in the Shahula system? I think it was. Let's let's check that again. Where is that? There it is right there. No, that is that does not have the where's I need a sulfuric acid. There's the one that has sulfuric acid ocean there. That's the one I need. Okay. What's this what planet here has the sulfuric acid on it? Cuz we need to get yeah, there we go. That's the planet we need to go to. So we need to go to uh, Al Alnilum 2 and get some sulfuric acid from there. Because I was noticing uh, that we are not producing as much stuff as we should on our home planet. Part of that is our, our sulfuric acid is not being produced. And why produce sulfuric acid when we could just go ahead and ship it in from off world from a sulfuric acid lake. And once you get sulfuric acid lakes going, you never have to make sulfuric acid again because they are, like water, an endless supply of sulfuric acid for you, so. Warp engine deactivated. Now, do we have any incursions on this planet? There's one over there. Cruise ended. Flight mode. Base court destroyed. Now I'm actually going to put a generator plant on top of that. Can I make some more thermal generators? Oh, I need I need the photon combiners for those. Okay, so we would need to go get some photon combiners to do that. All right, so we have sulfuric acid on this planet here. Mineral depleted. Let's see, there's sulfuric acid right there, as a matter of fact. I don't know if that's going to be enough to actually collect out of, though. Oh, we can get... There's one. We can get one. Um... I was hoping there'd be more sulfuric acid we could get from right there. But it doesn't look like it. So I guess we're just gonna say no to that. Now this planet's already getting 150 megawatts. It's consuming 102 though. Or no, wait a second, that's not, that's not the current planet. Let's go to local planet. So we're getting 15 megawatts off that one system there. For that one little thing there. So that's not bad. What is our, uh, what is the wind ratio? 80%. Solar ratio is 110. We'd have to build an entire solar ring just to take advantage of that. There's the, there's a big. Mineral depleted. All right. There's the, there's the big solar, uh, big lake over here. Oh, there's the big lake so right over there. There's big lakes right over here of sulfuric acid. Oh yeah, look at that lake right there. Okay, this this yeah, this is where we're gonna build. So let's go ahead and get a interplanetary logistics center right there. Let's grab some warpers from off planet. Remote demand. Put some of those in there. Set this up for sulfuric oh, not oil. Sulfuric acid, there we go. What else do we have right here? We got titanium veins and we got iron veins as well. Might as well do both. Get titanium, get iron, titanium, bring in some deuterium fuel rods. Remote demand some deuterium fuel rods. Do we have, yeah, we got 25 mini fusion power plants, so that's good. Actually, I'm just going to do the 
I'm just gonna, I, I need to bring in some missiles here too. And then we'll say, yeah, we'll take titanium off the planet. And we'll just make this a local demand. There we go. Let's see, what does this planet have on it? Oh, lots of iron, copper, titanium, stone. A little bit of coal, a little bit of silicon. There's like a little bit of silicon right there. All right, let's set up the... Uh, we're just going to get all the production set up here first. Um, where's my water collectors? Collecting. There we go. Because, yeah, you use water collectors on these as well. set these up over here. three three four and we're just gonna have massive amounts of, of sulfuric acid coming into this yeah we need to get power and stuff we know that we know that uh we do have our deuterium fuel rods here now so we can set up a output for those Going out that way. We aren't going to need too much deuterium, fortunately. Oops. Get those fired up. Those are all powered. Beautiful. Let's get our power going. The balloons are up. Everything's powered now. Now let's go ahead and gather all of our resources. Gonna have that go there. Three more there. Three more there. And three more there. What we're going to do is we're basically going to bring these in, then we're going to collect them and have them feed into, feed into the uh, big one here. We're going to be sort of combining and then combining again. At first, they're going to seem very full. But after a little while, they're not going to be so full. So once it starts feeding into the actual... There we go. All right, there's the first one. There we 
after the second one. And there's the third one. Excellent. So those are all feeding in there right now. That'll that'll uh, start ticking off. Yeah. See, they. It looks like they're really full at the beginning, but they they wear they 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 can go through a lot of processes there before they uh, will uh, actually get gummed up. that in there and now we have sulf now we have sulfuric acid going back home and once you get sulfuric acid lakes like this tapped these like water will never ever run out there's no there's no uh oh that's that's bad That was awkward. It may extremely awkward. There we go. That'll get another one going in there. And then this one will be... Let's see. So we got one, two, three more there. Let's set up another bank of them here. go and those can all come up to here there we go more sulfuric acid we got sulfuric acid flying out of this planet now which is great and we got some titanium going out too Actually, I need, yeah, I got that on local demand. Is that not being powered? Oh, I don't have bots in here. That's I was like, what is going on here? That's weird. There we go. Now the bots will take off and get all that stuff going on. All right, we got one more that we need to figure out here. Let's put the uh, let's put the transfer hub right there. go that will that will be the transfer point for that we'll have that come straight out that come over and out over and out there we go that one will go in that side there This one's going to be tricky, too, because the lines don't really line up very well. That's okay. We'll make it work. This is an ugly planet. It's a bug planet. Right under my nose, land on a planet that has 800 me 8,000 meters or closer to a dark fog hive. Okay. So is this planet a really close? Station detected. 
Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's, like, really close. That's, like, really close to us. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go smack that dark ha that dark uh, fog hive down real quick. Because we can. And that will give us some more titanium there. Excellent. All right, well, um... Light mode. Cruise mode. Gotta watch my own shields here, but it's based on what we were able to do last time, I don't think these guys are gonna pose much of a threat to us. Neutralize 1,000 Dark Fog Space Units. Well, we've done that. Cruisers kind of do their work here. is now destroyed there's no more dark fog in this system well there is like on this planet here I'm pretty sure yep I'm just gonna put that up. I don't think there's anything else there. Dark fog base core destroyed. I don't want them to have any more power here. Yeah, now we're just kind of walking all over them. Light mode. But it feels good. It feels good to finally like walk all over them a little bit. All right, I think that is all of the dark fog on that planet. Oh yeah, there's dark fog on that planet still. And then the planet we first landed on was this one here. I think we cleared all the dark fog on that planet. Yes, we did. All right. Light mode. So yeah, let's go. Let's go take out the uh, 
dark fog on this other planet here so it doesn't doesn't repopulate itself. Warp engine deactivated. Warp engine activated. Sort of overflow. Oh Jesus Christ, man. I keep overflowing the planet. Over overflying it. Destroyed. All right, they got looks like two more here. Flight mode. One over in this direction. Dark Fog Base Core destroyed. Yeah, we're just going to cover those up. There we go. Flight mode. Cruise mode. Cruise ended. Flight mode. Dark Fox base core destroyed. I'm not really doing a whole lot. My bots are doing all the work for me. Let's see, by the way, how am, I, how am I doing on my bots? My bots are doing fine. I did lose some cruisers. Looks like I lost a few cruisers, but that's okay. And we lost a few ships, but nothing of any real import. And we have sulfuric acid going back home now, which is the most important thing. So this system is completely free of the fog, which is good. Let's see what seedlings we have. We have a seedling there. We should probably go take care of that seedling. There's a seedling there going to Koshab. One going to Polaris. There's another one going there. There's another one going there. That's going to a system that I just cleared. That one's going... That's 23 light years away, though. Should probably go take care of the seed that's really close to us. And then head back to Polaris and see how we're doing on all of our stuff. And then we'll continue our, our star... Our quest of the stars. Now that, we can, now that we know we can take the Dark Fog Hives out pretty easily, that's not... That gives me a lot of hope. Because we've gotten ourselves to a point where they aren't that huge of a challenge now. Warp engine deactivated. Warp engine activated. Warp engine deactivated. Warp engine activated. Warp engine deactivated. There we go. That seed's gone. And then let's head back to Polaris. Polaris 4. Look at that beautiful... Look at that beautiful Dyson ring we have going. That is awesome looking. That looks so good. That looks so fantastic. And that's that that's that's like a that's like our big accomplishment. We got our Dyson ring going. Yay! <laughs> oh, you know what I did not set up on my sulfuric acid world? I didn't set up any sort of defense on that world at all. But we're going to go back to Polaris and make sure that the sulfuric acid is coming in fine. Warp engine deactivated. Cruise ended. All right. Flight mode.
All right, what is missing here? Oh, we're missing, we're missing energetic graphite? Really? We've eaten through all of our energetic graphite. That is crazy. Let's see how sulfuric acid's doing. Oh yeah, we got plenty of sulfuric acid coming in now. That's great. Um, where are we at on energetic graphite here? Provide to other distributors, huh? Um, yeah, we need to set this up to receive energetic graphite because obviously we do not have enough coming in. So let's go ahead and set this up as a hub that will receive it. A little power there. There we go. Okay, that hopefully will keep things going for a little while. I need to set these so they'll only accept energetic graphite into them. We do have some extra sulfuric acid, so let's drop that in here before before anything else happens. We also have some oil and some water. Oh, it's also bringing me missile sets. Nice. Does that mean does that mean that we're full up here on the missiles? Hold up! Hold up! Wait a minute. Oh, wow, that means that we're full up there on missiles. That means that we're actually accumulating missiles over here now. Oh, hells yeah, that's awesome. So they're bringing me a whole bunch of, they're bringing me a whole bunch of my missile sets now. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, let's get rid of our oil here real quick. And do a little maintenance here. There we go, get rid of that oil. Okay, I do have some quantum plant plants. I need to build some more quantum plants. We'll get eight more of those going on. All right, let's get rid of some of these resources that we picked up. Dump these off here. There we go. Let's dump the stone off into the replication complete. There we go. Let's dump the iron off here. There we are. And then we do have a little bit of blue proliferator paint, which I'm just gonna leave in here. I got room for it. There's a there's almost a thousand missiles for us right there. That is fantastic. All right, I do have a few old school sorters that I need to put in here. There we go. I don't have any old belts, do I? Nope, no old belts. Got a few oldies there. I'll keep 50 of those out just, just cause. All right, can I replace some quantum? Can I replace some of these over here? There we go, and that'll allow us to make some more quantum plants. We're just gonna replace all of our quantum plants here so that everything is making as fast as it can. So 
They're still over here. We're still missing plastic, huh? Or no, they're full. Are those full? No. Did I never build an out? Those are those are missing combustible units. I never build an output for these over here. Really? Oh, that is hilarious. I never build outputs for those. So am I really out of... Combustible units for those? That makes me a little sad. complete. Yeah, this is our combustible unit line right there. Getting eaten up by that. Oh yeah, those are coming all the way down from up here because I built those all the way up here, didn't I? Oh wow, so we need to we need to really ramp that up a lot. Upgrade. Oh, look at that. Station Integrated Logistics. The integration count of, of outgoing cargo is configured in the configuration tab of Planetary Logistics Stations. So, basically, now these here, uh, they will now outgo. They will give us two outgoing cargo of each kind. So basically, basically, it'll auto stack into two coming out of those, which is really super awesome. It actually makes me think, you know... We should probably just get those upgraded. Requires logistics carrier capacity one. Oh. Logistics carrier capacity level 11. Oh, so I have to have level 11. So we're researching that right now. We need to get up to level 11 on it. 9, 10, 11. That would, that would get it to 11 there. And then that would unlock the ability for us to do that, which would allow us to stack them up to three coming off of the, off of them, which it, that's just, that's just fantastic. That is fantastic. Yeah, the more, the more we can get coming out of these, the better, because now everything's going to be stacking in stacks that are way larger coming out of our, coming out of our logistics centers. We do need to upgrade our combustible units though. We need, we need to get more combustible units being made because we are falling behind on the, um, uh, we're falling behind on those. I wonder if I put them over here, can I do that? There we go. And there's combustible units. There we go. Well, that'll that'll increase our quantity of them. I don't know if it's going to really do a lot for us, though, because... Okay, those are full. That's full. Okay, so it's still gonna grab a couple here and there. Even though I fill even though I filled Yeah, because it's still taking some out of there to make these. But at least more combustible units are making it downstream so that we can get more of this going on. But we even I, I think we even need to up our com combustible units even more than we already have. I didn't ever think that combustible units would be something we needed to have massive quantities of, but obviously we do. What was I wanting to make with those? I was wanting to make something with those, and I believe it had something to do with 
Um, oh gosh, now I can't remember. What was it that took those to make? It took something, it took, it was taking something, and we needed those for something. And I can't remember what it was, but I'm sure we'll figure that out next time. Um, because yeah, there was something I was wanting to make with those and I can't remember what it is. But I think what we need to start looking at, boys and girls, is we, we have a lot of antimatter right now. We need to start looking at making some of this antimatter into, into uh, antimatter fuel rods and then also making ourselves some of the artificial stars. Because once we get artificial stars, we'll be able to create a whole lot of good stuff out of those. Actually, one thing I could do is just look at photon combiners here real quick. I wanted to make more geothermal plants. That's what I wanted to make. There we go. That's the easy, that's the easy answer. So we're going to queue up some of those right now because I was sad that I didn't have them before. Um, and we also need some of the those there there we go insufficient materials all right so next time we will be um continuing our look around the universe to see what we have because we do need to we do need to continue our galaxy our universal checkup on our systems so we're going to continue to do that and and get our get our um I'll take those and get these new missiles distributed these new missiles that we're making we need to get those distributed out throughout the galaxy because we finally have enough that it's actually starting to take them off of here And yeah, we need to do that. I think if you proliferate the missiles as well, you get some benefit from that too. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I believe there is a benefit to proliferating the missiles. But we will do that next time, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching today. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I will see you next time for more Dyson Sphere program in our Polaris Dark Fog series here on YouTube.